We are welcoming the winners of the Swift Hackathon. This year's event proved more popular than ever with a record number of entries from across the globe looking at how we can help the industry advance the environmental, social and governance goals. ESG is a fast moving and challenging space for the technological and financial service industries, but one that offers incredible opportunities for innovation and well, innovative thinking, if you will. The hackathon teams were tasked with developing solutions to two challenges. The first to help institutions better measure ESG impact and the second to transform how firms report ESG compliance. And we are delighted to be joined by Swift's hackathon lead, Rachel Levy, alongside representatives from two winning teams, Anna Biazetti, team lead of the winners of Challenge 1, IBM, and Chej Vakta, team lead from Cap Gemini, the winners of Challenge 2. Welcome to all three of you. Thank you Thanks. for joining Welcome, us here on Cyboss TV. Rachel, you led the hackathon in 2023. Can you tell us more about this year's record-breaking competition? Of course. So the theme of this year's hackathon was innovating for a sustainable future. And we had a mission to empower the community to create a more inclusive digital economy. So as you mentioned, we had uh, two challenges this year. Year. And what we were looking for was innovative solutions that could help raise the bar for the industry on achieving their ESG goals. Uh, this year we had uh, over 60 teams join us um, from fintechs and startups to central banks uh, and commercial banks. And, and really the breadth and depth of teams that joined us was uh, absolutely incredible. Um, all of these teams were tasked with uh, joining us in a virtual hackathon across the month of August uh, where they leveraged the Swift hackathon platform to build uh, and submit their solutions um, so it, it was an excellent process with lots of great teams well let's hear from the winning two teams shall we congratulations guys uh, so Anna much. I'll start with you uh, tell us a little bit about your journey over the last few months okay well first thanks to Cybos and to Swift for running this hackathon and thanks for recognizing our work we are very proud to be here um, our journey was uh, very interesting. We, uh, we learned about the hackathon. We, we knew this happened in previous years for different teams. But this year on ESG, we were very interested in participating at IBM. We are a global company, have many teams that work with ESG. We have products in this area. So we wanted to look at that and build a solution, especially focused on financial institutions. So we built a team, a global team uh, with experts from our research group, also our uh, cloud capabilities and our technology and brought everybody's skills together to uh, respond to this challenge and come up with a solution that will help all the financial institutions. And so, uh, uh, Tej, let's hear about you and your approach to the hackathon. Yeah, it was interesting and sustainability at Capgemini, it's, it's part of our DNA. Um, you know, our CEO came out earlier this year and, and, and he outlined three uh, three of the priorities uh, you know str be strategic be simple and be sustainable for our customers and with that when the challenge we heard about cybos challenge or swift challenge we were all excited and you know i want to first congratulate swift for coming up with you know really amazing timely and relevant uh, challenge out there which is going to be quite helpful for industry itself mm -hmm. so when we started looking at this uh, I have a broader team, you know, across financial services, insights and data, and over 100 people in the COE. So we started tapping into three different types of skills. The first one, we needed people who understand sustainability and regulation itself. The second set of people were around the, you know, understanding of platform and how, you, how can you build something which is meaningful but accelerate journey for financial services firms. And third one is the data scientist, because what we have built here is leveraging Gen AI and AI forward-looking technologies and looking at unconventional data and extracting sentiments to augment ESG sentiment. So this was a journey, very, uh, very interesting for us, as well as, you know, again, thank you for recognition. And I would say on behalf of Capgemini Insights and Data team, as well as financial services team, thank you. Mm. And Rachel, with so many teams entering a record-breaking year, how did you settle on the winners? What were you looking for? Yeah, so this was not an, an easy task, I have to say. We had so many innovative solutions uh, and submissions this year. Uh, but firstly, we did an initial screening, which was based on a predefined checklist. Uh, and then we brought in our excellent panel of judges. Uh, our judges had expertise across the AI, ESG, and strategy space. And they were really looking at two things within these submissions. They were looking at the technical 
practical feasibility of, of the solutions and also how applicable they were to solve real business challenges within the industry. Um, they judged all of the submissions based on a scoring mechanism and it was really, really important to us that, that we used a very transparent and fair um, way to actually judge all of the submissions because we wanted to make sure that the deserving teams were recognised um, and so I have to say it was no easy feat getting to this stage so a massive congratulations to our two winners here today. Anna, you overcame a record number of teams to win this year. Tell us about your solution and how your solution helps to measure the impact projects can have on ESG. Yes, of course. Um, our solution is really focusing on how the financial institutions that are in their journeys for modernization and looking at using a hybrid cloud approach, how they can measure the ESG and also how to uh, improve it, how to make it better. So this solution, uh, we uh, approached it, how can we create, bring together both the on-prem environments, IT environments, as well as the private clouds and uh, public clouds, and show an end-to-end -end view of how their resources, their IT resources, are being contributing to their ESG goals. So we first uh, have a component where we measure uh, the, um, the carbon emission for all this uh, IT infrastructure and then we report that and on top of that we use our AI models to really show the granularity that each resource and each uh, workload has on whatever they are running. We finally uh, use that information to provide actionable insights that can help uh, the IT team figure out what is best to run this type of workload. So they make, can make decisions in terms of consolidating IT infrastructure, moving into the cloud, moving where it makes most sense for them. Mm. And Tej, let's hear about your winning solution. I understand it helps alleviate some of the pain points when it comes to uh, ESG compliance. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was talking to uh, earlier while talking about the, uh, the award over there. There are over 500 regulations and frameworks out there in ESG. That's an alphabet soup of uh, regulations and frameworks. And banks and organizations to go through, navigate through all of that, it's a lot. What our tool does is it uses Gen AI and NLP, which is natural language processing, so AI, to extract sentiments, extract uh, interpretation of regulations, and then make it re relatable for banks and uh, organizations. So the core component is the sentiment engine, which is, which is leveraging unstructured data, unconventional data, and getting, making sense out of that, and augmenting what banks already have. And that is the key of, you know, differentiating key, which can really accelerate the journey for banks and organizations. Well, guys, congratulations to the both of you, and a very well done from us. Thank you for spending some time on Cybos TV with us here on the final day here in Toronto. Uh, so that is SWIFT's hackathon lead, Rachel Levy, uh, Anna Bezetti from IBM, and Tej Vactor from Cap Gemini. Congratulations all. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.